Hey guys, just to bring you up to speed on the GTO, a lot of questions on that. I don't have a lot of information on that car. I'm gonna head over there tomorrow, try to get some updates on that, get the owner contact information, and I am gonna try my best to buy that car, pull that car out of there, and get it home, and see what, just how bad it is, and, and see if that's something that we can rebuild. So really, really would love to have that car. So I also have this 66, Beetle I'm gonna show you. I forgot to tell you, I just found a uh, late 60s Firebird this weekend as well. So I've been on the hunt, cruising around, looking for old cars before the leaves, before the leaves come back and it's hard to see all these cars that are sitting around. So let's show you this 66 Beetle. So I bought this car over the summer. It was part of a three car deal. What do we got? We got a little Java green, some blue, we got a sunroof clip welded in, pop out rear windows, older New York license plate. This guy's owned this 30 years. He bought it in Jersey, Jersey Shore. Old school Kragers. So what is this thing? That's a great question. It's kind of a mix, huh? Half Baja, half street machine. Yeah, here's where he bought it. CNC Beetle World. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure they're long gone. Got the old uh, trim, trim delete there going. He, he uh, put new pans in it. I don't think he really finished the job, but yeah, he stuck a high back in it. If you got yeah, there you go. See the sunroof. So what am I doing with this car? Well, originally bought it because my son wanted a Baja, and this came with a Baja kit as well. What's it got for a motor? I think it's got a 16 in it. AH, yeah, 1600. It's not stuck. It's got some interesting, I don't know if you can see in there, some interesting wiring, that's for sure. Different color tail lights. Looks pretty cool with those big Kragers on there, though. It's definitely different looking. I thought it was pretty cool. But now all I've got on my mind is that, that GTO. Give you a look at this side. It's got the factory radio delete option you see there. <laughs> Not really. Oh. Body's actually uh body's actually not too bad. I think it's been hit in the front though. Well, you can see, you can see the apron we got in here. It still has a body tag. That's good. Yeah, front's been hit. Front's definitely been hit. It's got the original gas tank, I like that. What year is this? The New York Times. 1994. July. I go back to 94 in July any day. Racing motocross in New England. We got our door handle here. Extra, oh my goodness. How, fu <laughs> How funny is that? It's got a slinky in it. I'll my son has a plastic slinky, and yesterday he tangled it all up. And to think it actually has a real, a real genuine slinky in here. That is, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> what else we got in there? Starter, clutch disc. Oh yeah, is that a little, yeah. The old Nerf, the old Nerf bar on there. Oh yeah. 
old Nerf pliers. Not too much. Got a jack, couple lug nuts. Looks like it was last registered in 2001. Well, that's it. What do you guys think of this thing? <laughs> I'm stoked it had a slinky in it, a real one. It's probably how, who knows how long that's been in there. Bug with a slinky. Well, that's the 66. It's gonna need some TLC, but this one, this one's going down the road. So, if any of you guys absolutely have to have it, please contact me. <laughs> we had we had it on the trailer yesterday. We went to breakfast, and and Jen was saying, "Oh, maybe we can find a buyer." <laughs> yeah, she'd uh, she'd like to see a vehicle or two go away. Got a battery for the 914. I've had this out a couple times. Cool car to drive. Here's the Baja kit that came with it. Marcy, I will get those out to you this week, I promise. Those taillights, those were in the ground over there in ice until we finally thawed out. This thing's ready to come off. The 67 body. Drop that body on. What else? There's the weld. That didn't come out too bad. Just to, just so this could happen. Open, close. Fantastic. I'm gonna pull the bus out before this mud gets any any worse. Get that out here because I want to get cracking on that too. So that's it. Probably take the charger out today. Alright guys, gonna take the charger out for a quick spin. Can't wait to get to work on this. Get get this motor tuned. Get some odds and ends for it. You know, it's missing some stuff. Got a few dings, got some rust. This quarter panel is the worst of it. Got that dent in the fender. These are one year only fenders, they don't make them, so I've been looking for originals. They're tough to find. I found a 70 one year only trunk lid. The 70s have the, uh, the spot for the wing for the 70s in uh, NASCAR. They had that wing on there, the uh, Daytona's. It's alright, I love it. I'm beyond stoked to own this car. Generation 2 Chargers, as you know, are super crazy what they want for these things now. So, fits me perfect as a driver. Thought you might like to see the Charger. I sure do like seeing it outside. I'll take it for a quick spin. You talk about a difference. I just drove the 914 and then I jumped in the Charger. Big difference. I think you can put the uh, 914 on the hood of this thing. And one more thing, I just want to say thank you to you guys for helping me get through the winter. I was out here working on these projects as you may or may not know in the snow and I've been working on these cars really every day. I just don't film every day. Um, but thank you for 
the comments and the likes and the support. I, it, it really helps, so I just want to make sure I said thank you for that. All the subscribers, and it's, it's been a big help, and I really appreciate it. So looking forward to the spring and looking forward to the summer as well and, and the fall. It's just we got three great seasons coming, and it's, it's all about these cars and, and meeting some of you guys and the shows. I just can't wait. So, so really got to say thank you, guys. I can't say thank you enough. Take care.